This video has been a long time coming, but do you have a Quest 2? Have you ever considered live streaming with it? Well, you can. It can be a little messy depending, but it is possible. Hey, I'm Adam Bombati, and I create tutorials on how to be able to record and live stream VR. I also cover the occasional game and the tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to be able to stream with your Quest 2 in two different ways. You may have seen other recommendations out there of buying things like Chromecasts, HDMI splitters, capture cards, a Bluetooth wireless transmitter and receiver, more HDMI cables. And while yes, buying these things may limit your possibility of things going wrong, not everyone who starts out is going to want to buy an additional $200 worth of equipment for streaming that they may not end up using down the line. Sometimes it's best to just use what you've got, then go out and buy the more expensive equipment that will give you a higher quality, more reliable stream. The methods I'm going to show you try to use as minimal extra equipment as possible. With that said, if you've been streaming for a while already and maybe you want to add in a couple of VR streams, if you have the budget for it, I highly recommend just going PC VR as it's going to save you a lot of frustration and headache. But stick around, I'll show you methods on how to be able to stream games on PC VR like those on Steam, as well as Quest 2 exclusive games. But first, I'm going to give you a little piece of advice regardless of where you decide to stream to save you from minor frustration, and that is tape. Tape the sensor of your Quest 2 in order to prevent it from going idle whenever you put the headset down when you're doing something like troubleshooting or setup work. For both methods, you also might want to consider getting something like a wireless headset or wireless earbuds so that you can hear your alerts from your PC, as well as a wireless microphone, something like the Antlion Audio ModMic Wireless, so that you can be 100% sure that it's going to feed into your broadcasting software properly. The Quest 2 mic isn't really bad in quality, but sometimes I have a hard time getting my broadcasting software or even my computer to be able to recognize the microphone on it itself, which can is extremely frustrating. Also make sure that the computer that you're going to be streaming with, the computer that has your broadcasting software on it, is hardwired to the internet, that you're not relying on solely Wi-Fi, otherwise the likelihood of your stream being choppy is going to be very high. If you plan on streaming PC VR games with your Quest 2, make sure that your PC is powerful enough to be able to handle VR. Anyway, on to the more reliable of the two setups, and that is the PC VR method. This is going to be for those of you who want to be able to play games from your Steam library or maybe your Rift library. First, you're going to need to make sure that you purchase Virtual Desktop on the Quest 2 store. I know, I know, it's more money spent, currently $19.99, but this app has many great uses besides using it just for streaming. You're also going to want to make sure you can download, install, and link your Oculus account to the companion Virtual Desktop Streamer app, which you can download by going to vrdesktop.net. Once the Desktop Streamer app is launched and connected, go to your headset, launch Virtual Desktop, and connect it to your computer. From now on, when you launch any Steam VR or Rift game, you're going to be doing it from Virtual Desktop only. Now capturing it to your broadcasting software, you can do this a couple of different ways. I personally use OBS because of the plugins and customizability options, but you can do this in software like Streamlabs OBS as well. To capture your game view, go to your broadcasting software. Under Sources, click the plus button to add a source. Go to Game Capture and set the mode to either Capture Any Full Screen Application or Capture Specific Window which you can specify here as long as the game is actually running. Make sure that you have a desktop audio source running so your viewers can hear your game audio as well as alerts, and a source for your microphone which, if it works, should be the Oculus Virtual Audio Device. In my case, because sometimes the Oculus microphone is a hit or miss, I go with the Antland Mod Mic Wireless because I know it's going to pick up properly. Reading chat is going to be exactly the same as the methods that I posted in my how to read chat in VR video. To save time on this one, I'm not going to go over all the details, but just know that with both methods I posted in there, with Live Streamer Kit as well as OVR Toolkit, I've tried them in the Quest 2 and they work just fine. Now we get to the fun part, streaming Quest 2 exclusive titles. I'm going to be completely honest here, if you have the option to purchase the game and it's available either on Steam and on the Quest library, just purchase it on Steam because streaming is going to be a lot easier. But maybe there's that one game that you just really want to stream and it's only available on the Quest Store. Let's show you how to be able to get it working without having to purchase too much extra crap. Like my recommendations for the PC VR setup, I highly recommend purchasing a wireless microphone, something like the Antlion Audio ModMic Wireless, as well as a Bluetooth headset or earbuds which you're actually going to be connecting to your phone so that you can hear chat. More on that later. This method's going to use Oculus Casting, and when you do this you'll notice you get kind of an obnoxious red recording dot, so if you ever want to get rid of this, just go to your menu bar, go to Settings, Device, then disable the Video Capture Indicator. 
In the headset, go to your menu bar and go to Sharing, then Cast, then select your computer. On your computer, using Chrome or something other than Firefox apparently, go to oculus.com slash casting. Turn the audio on, make the video full screen, you'll see a little cog icon and you'll be able to choose more of a widescreen view if you wish. On the broadcasting software, you're going to be capturing this as a window capture source by going to the source box area, clicking the plus sign, window capture, then select Oculus Google Chrome. With this method, we're able to capture both audio and video from the same source through the Oculus Casting website. However, it's a known issue that the audio may be out of sync from the video, or in some instances for certain games, audio might not be casted at all for some reason. For the audio delay, you can try to negate this in your broadcasting software by clicking on the cog next to your desktop audio in the mixer section. Click Advanced Audio Properties, then adjust the sync offset in milliseconds. I find that usually anywhere between 250 to 500 milliseconds should work, but this might take some time to narrow down, so take a couple of recordings and do loud actions in the game until your audio is mostly synced with the gameplay. Unfortunately, there's no real way to read chat if you're streaming a Quest 2 exclusive game. The best option you're gonna get is going to a website like speechchat.com, bring that up on your phone, pair a set of Bluetooth headphones to your phone, that way chat is only going to be read to you and it's not going to be broadcasted out to your stream, which can be really annoying for your viewers. With this method, you won't be able to hear your alerts, unfortunately, but they should show up in chat and they should be read to you. Keep in mind the Quest 2 has battery life of only about two to three hours, so if you plan on streaming more than that, I highly recommend getting something like a USB portable power bank. This one in particular you can attach to your wrist. I've used something like this, and yes, I realize it says Valve Index, but if you get a USB-C cable for this, it'll work just fine. Just make sure that you get a cable that's long enough that can reach from your headset to the power bank comfortably, including when you're extending your arms. At the time of this recording, Oculus released information on something called the Oculus Air Link, which is basically their version of virtual desktop. You're going to be able to connect to your PC wirelessly with your Quest 2. However, since it's not out yet, I don't know all the details. I don't know if they're going to allow you to be able to access Steam, for example, but just know it by the time you're watching this, version 28 of the Oculus updates out might be something that you want to check out. Regardless, any processes or updates I find that make streaming the Quest 2 easier, I'll post in the comments below and I'll pin it for you. So go out there and stream. Speaking of streaming, I'm actually going to be doing my first live stream on YouTube this Tuesday, April the 20th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Things might go wrong, so just make sure you're here to watch the dumpster fire. Thank you again, as always, so much to my patrons, and as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.